hello welcome to a new video so recently i was asked about a question around the uipath document ocr the question was when you build a normal document understanding workflow in the digitized activity the default ocr engine is the uipath document ocr and by default we use the public endpoint so someone asked whether we can use a different endpoint if it's an on-premise environment or if we are using the cloud, can we use a different endpoint instead of the public OCR? So the answer for that is in this video. Um, so how to do it? Let's have a look. So this is my AI center. In the AI center under ML packages, you will see uh, out of the box packages. Inside that under document understanding, you will see a whole lot of ML modules or packages. Here, most of it is the extractors and the classifiers. But within that list, you can also see the UiPath OCR. It is the document OCR. So if you check here, this is not retrainable, but you can use this as a skill in your AI center, whether it's the on-premise or whether it's the cloud, it doesn't matter. You can deploy this as a skill and when you make this um, package public, you can use that endpoint as, the, as a different endpoint for your workflow. So how to do it? So basically, if it is this document OCR, we can create a simple package. So we can just say So let's say package OCR. This is my package. And under ML skills, I have already deployed this, but I'll just show you how to create it. So under create new, you can give a package name, choose your package OCR and select the version. And under this option, you can see make this skill public. So once you make this public, that skill will be created and it will generate a URL for you. So I'll show it in the already created one. So under skills over here, I have already created this few minutes ago. And once it is deployed, this is the URL that you can use. So simply just click on this copy button and update your workflow with this URL. So that's how you can use the OCR engine within the AI center and if it is the automation suite or the cloud platform you can follow the same approach so that's it for this video and if you have any questions about these things please mention it in the comment section i'll try to reply to you and uh, i'll see you in another video in the meantime have a good day